Okay, this is the second video for applications of percents using the portion formula. And here's our problem. A major airline laid off 4,000 pilots and flight attendants. If this was 12.5, a 12.5% reduction in the workforce, what was the size of the workforce after the layoffs? Okay, so they laid off the 4,000 people and it was 12.5% of the workforce okay that they laid off and so 12.5 percent of notice that clue word of the workforce so we are going to put the 12.5 percent in for our rate 4,000 is the portion because it was 12.5 percent of the workforce that was laid off put a comma in there and then we're looking for the base Okay, so our base is going to be um, 4,000 divided by 12.5% in decimal form. Okay, and then we take the 4,000 and divide it. So that gives us 32,000. Now, 12.5% of the base of the 32,000 was the 4,000. But the question says, what was the size of the workforce um, after the layoffs? Okay, and so before the layoff, we had 32,000 people, right? 12.5% of the 32,000 was the 4,000. So we're actually not finished with the question. This is not the answer because it was, what was the size of the force after the layoff. So you have to be careful because you could get tricked here and just stop before you should. So all we have to do is subtract the 4,000. And so after they laid off the four the 4,000 people, there were 28,000 remaining. So be careful, read carefully. Um, one of the things I tell students is always go back and see what was the question you were answering and make sure that your answer is the one you needed. And so if you will double check that, you know, work through the problem and then go back and look at that, that can help you catch those little things that are going to trip you up sometimes. All right. Oops. Okay, I took care of that white blank place and here we are. A local pet co ordered 100 dog ca dog calendars but received 60. What percent of the order was missing? Okay, so they received 60. And so the number missing would be 40 because the total was 100. So I feel like this one's not too difficult really. Um, and so there were a total of 100. That would be our base. We're looking for the percent right so we're looking for the rate if they received 60 then they were missing 40 and also the numbers are kind of nice on this one because we're just taking 40 and dividing by 100 which is going to be 40 percent so the rate is 40 percent Always read carefully. That's the trick here. Okay, Christie's Auction sold a painting for twenty-four thousand five hundred. It charges all buyers a fifteen percent premium of the final bid price. How much did the bidder pay Christie's? Now, there's a couple of different ways of working this. We're going to pay the full amount, so that's one hundred percent. Plus, we're going to pay another fifteen percent. Right, so 24,000 is 100%, and then we're going to pay an additional 15%. So it's actually going to be 115% um, of the price. So that's going to be 115%. You can actually set your problem up this way, and it's actually a quicker way to get there. Or you could use the 15%, find that, and add them. 
Okay, so it's going to work out either way, and you can always check that and see. So we are looking for the portion. Our base is straightforward on this. It's the 24500 but we have to pay that amount plus an additional 15%. So it's going to be 1.15. No, let me just write that, sorry as 115% and then we'll change it to the 1.15 when we multiply. So to find the portion, we take 24,500 times 1.15 and that gives us a total of 28,175. Now we can check this because we can look at that and say, okay, if I just wasn't sure if I set that up right, what if I took 24,500 times 15% and that would be 3,000, um, 675, which if that's how we set that up, that would be the portion. But in this case, we found the portion to be um, over the 24,500. And then if we added it to 24,500, we would get the same thing, 28,175. So I feel like for some of you, it's going to make more sense to do the 15% and add. And for others, you're going to go, oh, I like this way of just adding the 15% to the 100 and working with it that way. It doesn't matter to me. Either way is uh, completely proper. Okay, next. Okay, so uh, Puthina Unge bought a new compact computer system on sale for $1,800. It was advertised at 30% off the regular price. What was the original price of the computer round to the nearest dollar? Okay. So the sell price is going to be the portion, right? Because the 100% should be the base. And so that's going to be $1,800. Now this is where it gets a little trickier. It was 30% off the regular price. Um, and so we actually are not going to use 30% for our calculation to find this base. We're going to use 70% and I'm going to explain that. That's because 70% of the base price is the sell price, right? If I take 70% of the base, I get the portion or the sell price in this case. So I have to be on my toes and realize, oh, I've got to subtract um, on my um, percents. So basically you use what's called the complement. If you take the one, if you take 100% and you subtract 30%, you get 70. 70% uh, 70 of um, the original price equals the sell price. Okay, so I'm just writing that out to try to help explain that. And so to find our answer, we're going to take 1800 and divide it by 0.7. And then that gives us 2571.43, but it said to round to the nearest dollar. So we will just round that to 2005. 71. Just pay attention to the rounding so that if you are told to round in a different way, you don't miss that. Because, you know, if you're putting answers on connect and you don't round it properly, you're going, it's going to be counted wrong. So you want to be careful with that so you're not missing things um, and being very frustrated, right? That would be frustrating. Okay. 
So let's see if we can get this done on this video. Um, percents of increases and decreases. Um, it's basically like this. You're going to find the difference, and we're going to actually use um, our um, portion formula here. You're going to find the difference between the original, uh, the cost of the, the items, and then divide that by the original number, and then hopefully that will help you make sense of this. Now in this case, it's already told us uh, gas was selling for two oh five a gallon in January of two thousand and seventeen. This was a dollar twenty cheaper than a year before. What was the percent decrease? Okay, so we actually already know how much it it decreased, right? It decreased by a dollar twenty. And then it was a dollar twenty cheaper than a year before. So the year before it was going to be the one twenty plus 205 so 325 and then we're looking for the rate so just think back the original cost was 325 and so we're going to take 120 and divide it by 325 to find out the percent of the decrease all right, that's what we're looking for. When we divide, we get 0.36923, and we're rounding to the nearest hundredth percent. So remember, you change it to a percent first, and then you can see that we can drop the three, right? Because we're going to the hundredths place on the percent. Right, and there we go. Okay. Okay, so this one's nice numbers, and um, remember, it's the percent of increase or decrease. We're going to take the amount of the increase or decrease and divide by the original amount, which is the base. Well, the difference here is two hundred. Right, it's easy to see. So we take two hundred dollars. We uh, divide by the original price. Oh, whoops. <laughs> I, I'm dividing by the wrong thing. Um, so it increased from 600 to 800. And so we're looking for the rate, right? And um, that's just going to be, it's going to be a repeating decimal. So we take 200 divided by 600, right? Remember the original amount is the 600 because it increased. And we've got a repeating three. We're rounding to the nearest tenth of a percent, right? So 0.3333 for rounding purposes. And that's how it rounded. So it had a um, increase of 33.3% because it increased from $600 to $800. And that was a third, basically, of the price. Okay, one last question, which we're going to have to get done before 15 minutes <laughs> on my video. Okay. So Chevrolet raised the bar price, uh, base price of its Volt by $1,200. So that's our portion. And because that they raised it to the $33,500, we have to subtract and see what it was before to find our base number. And that's $32,300, right? So our original, because it was an increase, our original was 32,300. We're always looking for the rate when we're looking for the percent of increase or decrease. So 1,200 divided by 32,300 would be 0 0.0371. And that may seem like, wow, that's a pretty small increase, and it is. And we're going to write that in percent form, so that's 3.7%. 
and that is our percent of uh, increase in this case. And so that is the end of the video. Bye guys.